Hey guys, I'm going to show you something cool real quick. So I uh, got a call from a, uh, uh, a client, uh, or well, from, from a, just a random person rather, uh, the other day uh, asking uh, for kind of a rush rush job on something. Um, it's something I've never really done before, you know, normally I just do, you know, IT and, you know, kind of work on my little projects with Raspberry Pis and stuff on the side, but for whatever reason they found me on Home Advisor and decided to ask me if I could do something for them. So they're, they're doing some sort of an event where, uh, this woman's son is going to dress up as Darth Vader and, uh, um, sort of like, you know, let people take pictures with them and, you know, talk to them and stuff like that. But uh, he ordered a, uh, a voice changer, like custom from some guy in the UK, but it didn't uh, didn't ship in time. Um, and so they had about two days to get something together, and he was kind of monkeying around with some stuff with Raspberry Pi, because he found out what they were that morning and, you know, thought maybe he could do something with it. But anyway, they gave me a call and asked if I could help. Um, and so basically they gave me <laughs> uh, one night to make a real-time voice changer that could make him sound like Darth Vader. Um, so that's what I did. Um, so I've got a Raspberry Pi here, you know, ARM computer, and a little USB, uh, um, like, sound card here. Um, mic input coming from this guy, which he will be wearing, though I might recommend that he get something else because this, the mic on this is pretty bad. You gotta get, like, you gotta basically put it in your mouth to talk. Um, and then audio out is obviously running to this little little guy here. He wanted Bluetooth uh, connectivity, but uh, um, I may not have enough time to get that up and running. But at least the uh, the broad strokes are here. So anyway, um, so I did a little bit of research online to see if anybody had done work like this before. And there were a few different projects, and so I kind of like cobbled together some uh, some basics and uh, you know just applied some general knowledge and came up with this. So let's see if I can get that to focus. All right, so I uh, made the uh, the uh, the USB sound card the uh, the default audio device in uh, the Alsa library or in the Alsa config, and then uh, basically installed uh, the the Sox um, uh, um, like audio editing uh, tool in uh, Linux or in, in Raspbian here. And um, so basically what that string is doing is it's playing uh, audio that it's recording from, uh, from that mic. Um, it's buffering it. Um, I had to add the buffer to, to get it to come out kind of real time so that it wasn't like awfully delayed. There's a, a, you know, a few milliseconds of delay, but there's basically no way I can you know, avoid that since I'm doing uh, processing before I uh, play it. It, uh, it pitch shifts it uh, um, down uh, quite a bit to try and get the voice a little lower. I still got to work on making it sound quite like Vader. It's, it sounds pretty good, but not great. I need to add some echoes and stuff like that. And then I've got a bandpass filter to uh, kind of take out some of the weird like whine that's coming over the uh, over the speaker, or that was coming over the speaker. And it takes all that, everything that's in those quotations, and it plays it out of the default audio device, which is also this guy. So what we get is all right. My device active. This guy's ready. Let's talk. Luke, I, I am, am your father. father. So yeah, it's getting there. Um, anyway, I uh, I was pretty proud of how quickly I got that together and figured out I could share it with everybody. All right. Anyway, good night.